Friday y'all. In this uh, quick tip tutorial we're going to review a couple shortcuts um, to utilize in order uh, to activate the fit to screen mode. And so I have a layout here of my grandparents and I'm zooming in to check out you know the pixels on the, the title here. And I want to quickly get back out um, to the fit to screen mode to see how the whole layout looks. The first way that you can do this is by simply double clicking on the hand tool. And there it is immediately out to the fit to screen. Now the problem with this is now you have the hand tool activated. So let's zoom back in and we're looking at the title and um, let's see we have you know the the uh, title the text tool activated. I can also hit control zero on my keyboard and it will zoom out and you can see I'm still on that tool that I was working with. And so that's why using the keyboard shortcut is a little bit more handly, handy than double clicking on the hand tool because the hand then that makes you have the hand tool activated. I have one more little quick tip um, for you another uh, shortcut that is kind of cool. Let's say I'm on uh, this layer here and I'm just aware that this layer um, goes out into the gray area here. If I um, am on the move tool and, you, and I can see my bounding box is going out and I hit control zero it will actually fit to screen that entire um, layer so you can see the entire bounding box. I know this is often handy for me when I've taken and like a really long quote and I've copied it made a text layer pasted it and it's in big one big long line all the way out here and so um, I can be on that layer, click the Move tool, and then just hit Control-0, and it will zoom out to that layer. Um, so if we double-click where it fit to screen, um, still fit to screen, but if I hit on the Move tool while I'm on this layer and do Control-0, it actually zooms out to include that whole layer that's in in the gray area. So that's a quick review of it all. I hope you can utilize these quick tips. I know they're awfully handy um, for me.